kick is up, and away they go. And OMAC Express gets the first call. OMAC Express is out very nicely. Also, Alligator Creek has come out very nicely. And in the consolation race, all six are rather tightly packed as they go around the first turn. This is the 2018 Indian Horse Relay Consolation Race. Following race number seven will be the championship race. And they are very tightly packed. Up top, in first is OMAC Express. In second is Dolphus. After that is Alligator Creek. And now Alligator Creek very gamely splits runners and takes the lead. It is Alligator Creek all the way from Montana representing Crow Nation. The team captain and setup man is Josh Stops. The rider P.G. Nomi and, and Mr. Nomi is asking this one for run into the far turn. And as they come to the top of the stretch, negotiating the far turn, we are about to head down to analyst Brian Aragoni because he's in the winner circle, and that's where they handle the exchange. If you've never seen the switch, if you've never seen the exchange, it is very, very depthifying and thrilling. It involves the rider, the mugger, the setup man, the back holder, and they're heading for home now. And leading the way is Pem Pembina Nation Indian Relay. And it's very tightly packed as they come down the stretch for the first time. There are three laps, Canterbury Park, and we head down to the winner's circle. Here is B.A. Alligator Creek in first right now, but the top four have spread themselves out from the others. Now this is where all the members of the team are critical and essential. The mugger basically gets mugged by the horse incoming, and right in front of me, Longfeather had a beautiful exchange. Longfeather had one hop off, one hop on, and they are out immaculately. The mugger of Dolphus Racing, well, he got mugged. Back up to you, Paul. Thank you. You're right, Brian. That exchange with Longfeather, absolutely spectacular. And Longfeather has taken a lead as they go around the first turn. It is Longfeather leading it by somewhere in the neighborhood of five, six, seven, eight lengths. After that is OMAC Express here from Washington. And that one is in second by an absolute mile. After that, Alligator Creek, Brown Boys, Pembina Nation Indian Relay Team representing the Turtle Mountain Band and Dolphus. Up the back stretch they go. And they are chasing Long Feather. Jace Longfeather is the rider going to the right hand stick in the middle stages, perhaps looking for more run from Longfeather. OMAC Express and John Pacotis sitting in second, but still at least 15 lengths behind this one. And it is Longfeather heading around the turn, approaching the top of the stretch with an absolutely massive lead. The first two are a country mile clear from the rest of the field. And down the stretch they come, chasing Longfeather and Jace. Ace Longfeather, team captain and setup man Richard Longfeather. Now the mugger, backholder, and setup man, they get involved. Richard Longfeather, Justin Longfeather, and Tyree Kadat. It's up to them to make sure the exchange is perfect. Here's B.A. All right, take a look at Longfeather as Jace Longfeather and Justin Longfeather, the family affair in first, but OMAC Express by the stage. We see if we can just, Chase can have a clean exchange, but OMAC and John Bacotas had an excellent exchange. Riley Prescott, oh my goodness, these two are gonna set it up in the last mile as OMAC Feather and Longfeather go out a mile clear of the last five. Indeed, Brian, and they are one, two, the same way they were all the way around the track for lap number two. And Long Feather has a long lead from OMAC Express. And these two are a furlong clear from the rest of the field as the exchanges have been complete with Brown Boys in last right now following uh, that final exchange. Up the barn side they go, and Long Feather leads it but that lead is diminishing. And OMAC Express, representing the Colville tribe from the state of Washington, cutting into the Longfeather margin. Longfeather represents Standing Rock Sioux. And we may be set 
for an epic Indian horse relay stretch battle. Canterbury Park may see a terrific stretch battle coming up because Longfeather's lead is diminishing. It is Longfeather and Richard Longfeather, the team captain with Jace Longfeather riding, OMAC Express and John Pocotas. They are within striking distance as the rider for Longfeather takes a peek back to see the competition and he sees OMAC Express all over him. OMAC Express to the outside, Long Feather to the inside. They're both tired and giving absolutely everything they have in this consolation race. And OMAC Express has taken the lead. Long Feather desperately trying to fight back on the inside. OMAC Express grudgingly is drawing clear. Give it up, Canterbury. OMAC Express wins. Oh, Mac Express, representing Colville from Washington. Excellent, excellent riding by Riley Prescott. Oh, Mac Express wins the Indian Horse Relay Consolation. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the consolation race for the Indian Horse Relay Racing this year. The championship race, where they all are racing for prize money, that takes place following race number seven. Indian Horse Relay Championship Racing following race seven. And before that, we have a youth relay race that is absolutely terrific. Make sure you stick around for the youth relay race and the Indian Horse Relay Championship race following the seventh as we congratulate OMAC Express. Team captain and rider, Riley Prescott. The mugger, John Pocotis. The Ready, Sage Woman is ready and we go. Out in front is Sage Woman. And Bapu in second, but here comes Red Feather Legacy. But out in front is Sage Woman with Chandra Whiteman. Coming in for the first exchange. There in box one, here's Chandra. Exchange, oh. We have Red Feather Legacy. Jumping on, there goes Bapwa out in front. Red Feather Legacy. Neck and neck, and here comes Bapwa. Now making, it's Red Feather Legacy. Making a move on the outside. Sage Woman having some problems, but here comes Bapwa. And Red Feather Legacy. Who is it gonna be? Bapwa. Red Feather Legacy. First one on is Joseph Smiles with Bapwa. There's Sage Woman for her third and final exchange. But here comes Red Feather Legacy out in front. Bapwa in second. It could be a horse race. Here it is, Red Feather Legacy. Red Feather Legacy, Bapwa, and Sage Woman in third. There's Sage Woman. Let's give all our teams a big round of applause. We have Sage Woman, Bapwa, and Red Feather Legacy. All right, can we get all three teams into the winner's circle? Red Feather, Sage Woman, Bop Boy, if we all could come to the winner's circle. How'd you like that, ladies and gentlemen? This is the future of Indian America, the Kids Relay.
In the winner's circle, we have Red Brother Legacy from the Crow and MHA Nation. Let's meet the teams. First off, we have Brew Crew from the Ogallala Sioux Tribe. Stan Brewer, Silver and Brown, Will Brewer, Steve Brewer Jr. They're in the lime green and purple. Let's go to Montana. God's country, Prior Montana with Mountain Crow, Francis Plenty Hawk Sr. Team captain, Zach Rock, the rider. Joey Gutierrez, Leland Rock Jr. and Luke Rock. That's Mountain Crow in the lime green. From Montana, members of the Nakoda, white clay people of the Fort Belknap Reservation in Montana, this is Mountain River with Bayard Kirkwoody, Jay Cha Shambo, Matt Ball, Spencer Cochran, Darren Lavender and Black, this is Mountain River. And let's meet the hottest team this weekend from the Crow Creek. In South Dakota, this is Bad Nation in the red and yellow. Their setup man is Mike Coleman, rider is Jesse James White, Cruz Gibbons, and Jim White. Next, we meet from the Coville tribe. They have a chance to win a $10,000 bonus if they win tonight. This is Abrahamson from the Coville tribe in Washington with Jonathan Abrahamson, Scotty Abrahamson. Matt Pakudas, Jason Palmer, they're in the purple and the white. Let's meet the Blackfeet Nation of Montana's very own Star School with Martin Littleplume, Andrew Whiteman, Sean Birdrattler, Martin Littleplume, Buzz Birdrattler. They're in the teal. Let's meet the MHA Nation, three affiliated Awadahe, Lloyd Vegan, the team captain, Ashton Odell, the rider, Joe Looking Horse, Coda Silk, they're in the turquoise. And Little Badger in the black and pink with Chris Carlson, Justin Lawrence, Dylan Carlson, Jordan Whiteman, Adam Whiteman. That's Little Badger from the Blackfeet Nation. Thank you very much, my friend Brian Aragoni in the winner's circle. Yours truly in the Crow's Nest overlooking the Indian Horse Relay Championship. Best of luck to all of the teams. Little Badger, Awadahe, Star School, Abrahamson, Bad Nation, Mountain River, Mountain Crow, and Brew Crew. The flag is up. Here they come. And there they go in the 2018 Indian Horse Relay Championship. A couple of them have gone pear-shaped right out of the gate. We're going to restart. We're going to have a restart. We had some tumult with the start, thus a restart. Side wagering on this is highly encouraged. Pick your favorite team, find friends and or family members on the grandstand apron, and make side wagers on which team you think will win. Once again, a substantial bonus available if the Abrahamson team happens to win. Bad Nation on Thursday evening looked absolutely fantastic. Bad Nation representing South Dakota and Crow Creek. So the lineup again, the flag will go up again. And the eight taking part in the Indian Horse Relay Championship race for 2018 will fly. Once again, get down by the fence on the grandstand apron. You can get right next to the boxes where the switches and or exchanges take place. Some daredevil activity with those exchanges. Paul Mountain Crow off to a rough start down here. Zach Rock Sr. got bounced from his horse. So Zach Rock Sr. of Mountain Crow got tossed, but he's right back up as we're ready to go. We'll see if Mountain Crow can fire fresh. And it go in the 2018 Indian Horse Relay Championship. And all eight are blanketed by three lengths as they go around the first turn. 
This is leg one. It is lap one of the 2018 Indian Horse Relay Championship, and all eight absolutely are sizzling as their teammates await them to negotiate the one-mile oval for the ever-important exchange. And Abrahamson is in front. It is Abrahamson, a little badger actually in front, little badger in front, leading it from Brew Crew, who splits them. Brew Crew is just off the heels of the leader, and Little Badger continues to be prominent. They zip into the far turn. They have one half mile to go. Lap one of the Indian Horse Relay Championship. And beginning to make a move uh, between runners is Awadahe, becoming very prominent. Now we have three in a line. And on the outside, Bad Nation with a bad move off the far turn. And Bad Nation takes the lead as they head down the stretch for the very first time in the 2018 Indian Horse Relay Championship. That was a great move by Jesse James White. Now Cruz Gibbons, Jim White, and the rest of the Bad Nation team, including the captain and the setup man, Mike Coleman, they are going to have to take part in the exchange because we have two battling for the lead. Now joining is Star School in second, chasing Bad Nation. Here we go, B.A. So Bad Nation gonna be to the right of the winner's circle, Star School just to the left in the teal as Bad Nation and Jesse James White, the first one to come home, and oh, he acted up just as he was ready to hop on. Bad Nation struggling with the exchange. Oh my goodness, and Bad Nation almost fell off, but Bad Nation and Jesse James White holds on to stay in contention, and oh my goodness, did things change with the first exchange. Holy cow, Brian, we are on lap number two, and on the lead, we have Brew Crew. Brew Crew representing the Oglala Sioux Tribe and ridden by Sylvan Brown, and Brew C Crew is going very fast, and uh, Bad Nation goes into second. It is Brew Crew going incredibly fast. Bad Nation, adorned in the red and gold, is in second, and that one is far clear from the rest of the field, Abrahamson is in third. Once again, Abrahamson in line for a substantial cash bonus if their team is able to win tonight. And we are at the midway point of the 2018 Indian Horse Relay Championship. Star School, after the exchange, was in first but has dropped all the way back to second last. And up top, we have Abrahamson. Abrahamson from Little Badger. It is Abrahamson from Little Badger as they come to the top of the stretch. They are chasing. Chasing Brew Crew, Brew Crew, Bad Nation, Ab Abrahamson, and Star School comes rolling into third. They are chasing Brew Crew as they come down the stretch for a second time. And Brew Crew has a big lead. Star School has rolled into second. After that is Bad Nation. B.A., here comes the exchange. Brew Crew's got the furthest to go to make the exchange. They're going to make the exchange right by the wire. Star School looking for a cleaner trip. Their second horse made up a ton of ground, but the horse said he's ready to hop on, acting up at this point, facing the wrong direction, and Star School struggling again, and Little Badger made an excellent exchange. Little Badger and Star School along with Brew Crew, Brew Crew, Star School, and Little Badger. Thank you, B.A. It was an auspicious exchange for Brew Crew, but they responded nicely and they're battling for the lead. They are battling for the lead just to the outside. And in second, battling with Brew Crew is Little Badger. That's Little Badger, the one with the black and pink, and Brew Crew, yellow blinkers and lime on the hind quarters. Now, if you take a look at TV monitors or the big screen in the infield, those two horses could not be going any more quickly. They are absolutely flying up the Canterbury Park backstretch. Star School is in third. After that, Abrahamson in line for that big bonus. That is the white horse currently second last and far out of it as they head into the far turn. It is Brew Crew leading it and it's Brew Crew leading it from Little Badger and Brew Crew edges clear. Mountain Crow goes into third. They're coming to the top of the stretch. 
and still on the lead in very tenacious fashion is Brew Crew. Abrahamson is getting involved late, but it looks like it's going to be way too late. And Brew Crew has taken a big lead. And down the stretch they come in the 2018 Indian Horse Relay Championship. And leading it is Brew Crew, but it's a diminishing lead. Brew Crew gasping for air into the final 150. Star School is beginning to close in. So is Mountain River on the inside. But Brew Crew is too good. They're not booing, they're brewing for Brew Crew. 2018 champion. Let's welcome Brew Crew. Here champions here at Canterbury Park. 